and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Golgari Graveyard. That's right, we're going to be trying to self-mill um, and get a bunch of creatures in our graveyard and take advantage of that. So the main way that we're going to be taking advantage of a lot of creatures in our graveyard is, of course, the Molder Hulk. This big fungus zombie usually costs 9 mana. Hopefully it'll never actually cost 9 mana. But it does cost one less for every creature in our graveyard. So if we can have like seven creatures in our graveyard, for example, then it's only going to cost just the black and the green. And then whenever it enters, it can return a land from our graveyard to our battlefield. So we have a nice combo with that returning Memorial to Follies that can uh, bring back from our graveyard. And then whenever our Molder Hulk dies, then we sacrifice our Memorial to Folly and bring, get back our Molder Hulk and so on. And we can kind of... Um, keep that chain going of returning those back and forth. The other thing I wanted to do here is I wanted to play Plague Crafters. I, I really like Plague Crafter right now um, with all these Planeswalker decks that are that are around. Um, I think the Plague Crafter uh, is a nice card that can just, you know, enter, get rid of Planeswalkers, and, um, you know, we can rebuy them with Memorial to Follies, or if we just self-mill them with s Suppliers and Shamans, we can rebuy them. So I'm, I'm going all out on the play crafters. So really, really, you know, maximizing them with the four copies. And so we'll be able to kind of see how uh, how good that, that card is uh, there. And of course, we have uh, Chupacabras for our regular removal. We have our Explore package, uh, especially like the Wild Growth Walker here to gain life because we're going to be commanding the Dreadhorde because this Command the Dreadhorde card is just incredibly good as well. And so if we're self-milling... Uh, pretty fast here with Supplier and Shaman. Then we can get a bunch of creatures in and bring them back with Command. Don't really want to be bringing back Mulder Hulks with Command because that costs 9 life, but we can, you know, help out with the Explore stuff and Chupacabra and Play Crafters. You know, bring back a bunch of Play Crafters with Command the Dread Horde, wipe, off, wipe out the opponent's board. Against opponents that are playing a lot of creatures, we got um, going with a bunch of Plague Mares. Like, we know how good, like, uh, Chain Whirler is just really strong in this format, so I want to try some Plague Mares. Not quite as strong as Chain Whirler, because it doesn't get to, like, ping off to Fairy uh, after it minuses like a Chain Whirler does, but there's still a lot of small creatures um, that Plague Mare uh, can deal with. Um, and then we got some more Command the Dread Hordes against Control. So let's see how this, this works here. Um... Normally, I think I'd rather, instead of, like, Wild Breath Walker, I'd rather have, like, Gutter Bones and, like, be, like, a little bit more aggressive deck. Uh, but with Command the Dread Horde, I think we need the Wild Growth Walkers in here to kind of pair with that. So kind of first first tries here. This may not go the best. And, you know, we may be some number of cards off. But let's, let's give it a try and let's see how it goes. Um, no, I don't think I would want to play Store of. Basically ever with how good like the cards are in standard and everything store is not a, a card that really excites me like i would you know you have to connect with it before you get any value from it like i would rather play golgari find broker i think that's a better card than store is you know i'd rather as, as far as five mana cards i'd rather have like doom whisper that can uh fill the graveyard and and help me find you know go find command the dread horde or, or other things like that Yeah, this is this is a, a lower budget deck. That's true. Yeah, that's a good call. Yeah, if we run into an Ashiok, that'll be bad. I mean, it's not going to, like, brick our deck. Like, we can still just play creatures and attack with them and everything. So it's not like we're just, like, dead to Ashiok. We'll just, you know, cast creatures and attack. Thanks, Liams. Hmm. And now I'll take it. Yeah, that could be that could be something that maybe I should start doing. Honestly, is yeah, make like a, a budget deck playlist for YouTube and um, maybe focus on you know like a couple of times a week. You know, maybe set up like the days that I'm going to do it. You know, like on a you know like a Tuesday and a Thursday or whatever. Play like you know each day play like a budget deck. 
you know, so make like two budget decks a week or something. Okay. How how would that sound if I played like 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 Tuesday and Thursday night? You know, like I I have a budget deck for each each one of those, and just kind of like always on like always on Tuesday and Thursday I play like a bud like one budget deck each day, kind of thing. And then. And I like actually, you know, because on on arena here, you know, I don't really focus on prices, but I could actually, you know, like look up card prices, I guess, and see. Uh, and try to keep it like around like a hundred dollar paper deck. So for for F and M's, because I, I I think. Yeah, I don't think I would do it on, like, arena budget, right? It, like, be, like, paper prices budget? Is that is that what y'all would, would like more, is paper paper prices budget? Or, like, or like arena budget where you're restricting rares and mythics? Which one would be more useful? I don't know. We just saw an island over there. I'm just going to keep the deck the same. Okay. All right. Well, it looks like a lot of arena budget. Okay. Yeah, I guess everybody wants arena budget. Okay. Okay. Alright, so Shaman should help us hit land drop. I don't think I get rid of the black mana source, though, still. <laughs> Just replace one shock in each deck with a gate. Bam. Budget. I guess I guess we want to self mill first before we explore. It's hard to collect four of the same card. So with budget stuff you don't want very many four ofs. Yeah, I could I could do that. Um, just play like the budget deck, and then and then at basically I just show at like the end of the video. I don't think I'd make a, a series of videos, but maybe at the end of the video, uh, cards to update it with, or like yeah, cards to upgrade the the deck with. Oh, thank you, Storm. Thank you. I didn't. I didn't see that. Thank you. All right. So if we do a budget deck series, what do y'all? What What would y'all consider budget? Like how many rares and mythics? If we're doing like arena budget series, how many rares and mythics? And I assume that like. Focusing on rares and mythics that don't rotate is like the best idea, of course.
thinking maybe yeah maybe 12 rares max four mythics max maybe like yeah I wouldn't yeah I wouldn't necessarily have to be only the last three expansions but especially like commons and uncommons but like basically like the rares and mythics should probably be from the last three expansions for rares and mythics that is Um, maybe, maybe like 10-4, that could be like the, the thing is it's, it's a 10-4 deck. 10-4, really main deck cry the carnarium, like 10 rares, four mythics. That's so rude. Cause that... You know, that definitely, you know, that obviously hurts more against me because, you know, we're not putting creatures in the graveyard here with the the cards getting exiled. Yeah, and for the mythics, not four of the same mythic, like two. Maximum could do like two of each. All right, so for for mythics, it'd be uh, four mythics, no more than two X for uh, for one card. No, man, all these cards, we haven't seen any, no Chupacabras or Playcrafters yet. So this is the strength of the Memorial Folly Mulder Hulk combination. They like kill up my Mulder Hulk, I just get it back. Replay it again, which gets back the Memorial to Folly. We can just do that over and over. Oh, okay, if I if I do play, all right. So not really necessarily a. Uh, anything about have having to be only two of one copy of a mythic because if it's a highly played mythic then that's okay All right, so that's the mythics. So four X of a mythic. What would be the number of rares for a, a budget deck? Like 10, 12, eight? Ah, perish.
Rares add up so quickly, so it'd say eight max. Hmm. Let's do a pull here. Yeah, rares would include rare lands, yeah. I would, I would assume so. Time planes walk. <laughs> you have no weakness that I cannot exploit. So that'd be pretty, pretty tough to do. this so I can't play choop Mulder Hulk's just grinding down my opponent. I have other plans. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, S Yeah, like S you know Esper with like twenty four rare lands, like that would not be a budget deck. A deck with Thran Temporal Gateway. We've played a few decks with Thran Temporal Gateway before. Haven't played one in a while. Molder Hulk. What a good card. What a good card. I want to take out one Chubacabra. For a command, the Dread Horde. I mean, this is like a matchup for, for Duress. Usually, Wild Growth Walker, Stitcher Supplier, like those are cards that you know you'd take. You know, you wouldn't really want in against Control Deck, but these cards makes our other cards so much better. You know, without Wild Growth Walker, we can certainly die to like Command, Midnight Reaper, that kind of stuff. Supplier we may not be able to fill our graveyard up efficiently. Let's just try this. Let's try like not doing much sideboarding. All right, so I guess I'm going to have like 8 to 12 rares. I know it's not like, that's not like ultra, ultra budget, but we want to have something kind of competitive also. It's an awkward hand here how I, I don't really get to play Memorial to Folly first. I guess I'll just lead with... 
Woodland Cemetery, and we can kind of see what we draw from here. Let's look for a green land. There's a green land. I'll take that. Wait, Timido, you want me just to open up 400 packs and then build a deck from that? But I already have like the all the I already have all the cards. Does Jade Light Ranger see any play outside of Explore decks? Yeah. Yeah, it does. It's still just a it's just a good card. Alright, so command Snickle Bulls is gonna do do some damage here. So if I go down to ten. I am one again. My schemes have been foiled. Let your weak minds crumble. No, I think you can only open ten boosters at a time. So I'm at fourteen, five, seven. 9, 10, 11, 12. I mean, if they kill this Wildgrowth Walker, I'm probably dead. Yep, dead. They just sack the Nickel Bolas and then kill the Planeswalker and then kill me with the other one. So I could probably no, Wispy. It's okay. Never apologize for questions. That's 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 all good. I'm never upset about questions. So I'm here here to do is answer questions. Don't ever think that I'm mad at a question. I'm sorry if I was uh, short. Can sound like that sometimes how I'm just thinking of, of different things. You know, I'm thinking about like this budget series, also trying to play this match, answer the question, all that kind of stuff. What's up, Rice Prophet? Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Really do appreciate that. Sub number six on the day.
Play Crafter is a good one. Yeah, we've got some newbie subs in here today. So, of course, hoping for no ritual of soot. No ritual, no ritual. Crowley Carnarian wouldn't be so bad because we'd be able to keep the Jade Light. Alright, no ritual, that's good. They want me to mill, huh? They want them to mill now. Who's milling over here? Alright, so 18. Oh, they have this nickel bolus? I thought it was the other one. Oh well, so that's four. Five, six, seven. Um eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Well, it's not the best auto. I guess I'll just graveyard it because the supplier. Not the best auto uh, ordering. I would have. I wanted the Jade Light to trigger last, of course. I should have. I should have, like, uh, the, the triggers on the stack, I need the Jade Light to be last, like, for the Explorer to be last. I want to do, like, the self-mill with Supplier, have Playcrafter sack the Supplier, self-mill again, and then Explore. Will bend to my Your existence is pointless. Hmm. All right, so they just got one card left. I will return. We can probably deal with one card. Alright, so I was actually just going to play the Playcrafter this turn and make them discard that card. So I had, like, the Chupacabra for backup there, too. I was going to, like, whatever that card was, I was just going to make them discard it there. Golgari Finebroker is, is good, but I don't, like, I don't think it's better than anything in the deck, basically. It's hard to fit it in. Like, I, I, would, I wanted to have, yeah, like, I would like to have Finebroker in this deck, but I, I don't think it really fits in. <clears throat> and Playcrafter did a lot of work for us there. Cool, yep, thanks Isopson, I got your message. There. GG. So I think we're in the eight to 12 rares and then four mythics for a budget deck.
honestly not sure if I'm supposed to, you know, like which which order I'm supposed to go and just play like the Moral to Folly and then play a Supplier on turn two. The other way. I think it's I think it's right to play the Supplier on one. Get like that extra attack in. This does mean if I draw a Jade Light, I won't have Dubs Green. I can play Midnight Reaper though. Um, I, yeah, I was, I was still going to count the starter deck rares and mythics. I, I guess I just don't know all of the starter deck rares and mythics. I don't know like what all of them are. So I guess, but yeah, I was, so I was planning on just, just, uh, counting them still cause I, I don't know them. Yeah, we are a Golgari deck that actually Golgaris. do here Another playcrafter. Well, that didn't pan out. Skip to the good part. I don't know. I kind of feel like I should have just discarded the command the Dread Horde earlier and then sacked the Memorial of Folly to get back Midnight Reaper and just not try to go for the six mana card. Yep. There's still one other Command the Dread Horde in the deck. Keep up the pace. No Molder Hulks. Unfortunately. I already had other Playcrafters over here, but... So thinking if they if they draw a hero precinct one and get to play hero plus make it make a creature, then me having three ones instead of three twos is nice. I'm 
I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> Hurry! Um, I drank all my water. I'm known for my excellent timing. Yeah, so I th I think I played this wrong earlier as we talked about as I should I should have just ditched the six mana card earlier, gone and grabbed the Midnight Reaper. Oh, I'd be doing better than what I am right now. I think my only chance right now though is to draw a six land and just hope that we draw the other command, the Dread Horde. That one's not bad. You know what? I'm not done yet. Trust me, I have a plan. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Give me these things that kill the fairies. Dude, Playcrafter's nice. So I want to play four of them. They must have just drawn that, because otherwise they could have draw-stepped that thing. I have practiced against many foes like you. I have just the trick for this. They found Command the Dread Horde before I did. Really counting up here. Hey, Danny Fox. Yeah, we were having a good day today. A lot of a lot of wins today. So, how am I supposed to possibly know which which playcrafter they're targeting? How am I supposed to possibly know? There's three of them here. Just like, what? I mean, obviously I want to target the one that they're targeting. How am I supposed to possibly know? I don't know, let's do this one. Oh, we grabbed a different one. That's fair. I'm known. Excellent Whoa, they just put them down to zero? What? I didn't even count that. Really? They just went straight up zero? Did they just assume that I was going to take the Playcrafter from them? Maybe maybe that maybe that was the thing. Like they were just assuming I was going to take the Playcrafter. <laughs> uh 
Okay, this kind of matchup, I think I do want Duress. I think I don't need Wild Growth Walker as much. I think having Wild Growth Walker and letting them gain life is bad for me. Uh, I think I do. I kind of want Plague Mare against Hero, and Plague Mare doesn't get blocked by Basilica Bell Hunt either. I think having access to a Plague Mare is nice. Let's get one in here. And I'm going to take out one Choop. And get another command over a supplier. I should, maybe I should take out a Midnight Reaper if I'm not playing. If I'm not playing Wild Growth. Let's get that supplier back in. Oh, uh, so they, yeah, they were thinking the bell haunt would gain them three life, but yeah. It tells you which one's being targeted right above the card? Huh, I didn't see that. At sub light speed. What does sub light speed mean? Just slowly? Instead of quickly going back and forth, you hover over them and look at the top. Yeah, okay. So, so slowly. This isn't a fight you can win. I'll protect you. Oh, why didn't they attack? Wow. Rats. This might be a bad idea. I'm just gonna be discarding the Molder Hulk. Ooh, good. No no double black. Never mind, we don't have to deal with Bell Haunts for this turn. Maybe not can't play anything in hand? Uh. Why didn't I keep this card? <laughs> We're not making this Molder Hole cost too much less. So I was definitely thinking about just keeping whatever card in, in hand. That's perfect. We can we can keep that there and then discard this command to the bell hunt. We have a backup. I mean, command's not even like really that good right now. Anyway, here goes nothing. Huh. Oh, 
Well, that's really annoying. Well, that was a nice card to have there. Don't worry, I got this. Looks like we're going to game three. They had a good hand. Hero, two Teferis, two Bell Haunts, two lands. That's a good hand. Let's admit the bastards beat us. All right, let's try a Massacre Girl out. Yeah. I don't think, like, I don't know what, I don't know where to, to fit Bond to. I don't really know, like, why, like, where, yeah, basically, where would we fit Bond to? I don't know, like, we kind of have, like, like, the deck has just like so many engine engine cards that you kind of need. I just, I just don't know where to where to put a bond to. Um, you know, it's a it's a decent card. So if it's Thought Erasure here that takes the Midnight Reaper. Wanted another Midnight Reaper. Wanted a, another um, engine card, another card advantage card. That was nice. Got four creatures in the graveyard. Or, sorry, that one got three creatures in the graveyard there. All the heroes. So I don't think that we really need a dress. I mean, I feel like if they had something good, they would have played it. Already. I know 88 would meditate. And hey, what's up, Scott? Or no, that's not Scott, that's Morgan. Dang it. Hey, Morgan. <laughs> Might be.
Let's slow this down. All right. Got there. Turns out we can beat a bunch of two mana two twos that don't have anything back. Backed. Backing it up. Jay Rockefeller. Hello. The the mass manipulation decks. Those are thankfully like going kind of out of style these days. But yeah, mass manipulations. Uh, that's kind of an upsetting card. That you just have like a bunch of stuff. You're like, all right, I'm in a good spot. I got all this stuff, and they're like, I like your stuff. I'm gonna take it. Yeah, Mass Manipulation and Command the Dread Horde. Those are really cards that are just huge swings. You know, you can be like really far behind, super late game, have a lot of mana, draw a Manipulation or a Command the Dread Horde, and then bam, you win the game. Yeah, this deck's working pretty good too. We are just having a, a strong day here today. Starting off, We started off over in Mythic with the Gruul Arcbow deck, picked up some good wins over there. And then we've played a couple, um, couple uh, of the traditional constructed leagues after this and after that, and doing well with those too. Uh, that's not going to come into play untapped. Yeah, if you're not good at best of three, I do think, I also do think uh, Mono Red is is a good deck, and it's a it's a good deck to kind of help learn best of threes and stuff. Um, I do think that's a a good deck to play for somebody newer to the format. And I I don't think there's anything wrong. Like some people think there's like a, a stigma to the deck, like it's not. Like, like you're not good at magic if you play mono red or something like that. That's ridiculous. I'm gonna play the Midnight Reaper here so that next turn, whenever I play Playcrafter, I get to draw a card. I'm kind of planning on sacking Glowspore Shaman, but actually, actually, it's probably better for me to have the Playcrafter in the graveyard. How are we doing over here? Five cards in the graveyard? Cool. All right, eight cards over here now. So if I, that's perfect. So now if I, I can go grab, next turn I can grab Molder Hulk, play Molder Hulk. You know, I have like the, the six mana free Molder Hulk chain now. Hmm. 
Yeah, I still want to do that. The other other thing I was considering here was Chupacabra, Paradise Druid. But I think it's going to be pretty difficult for our opponent to deal with this Molder Hulk. I guess, yeah, I guess if they would have just drawn a land, they could have mass manipulated the Molder Hulk, I suppose. Ooh. That's a good card. So I can, like, cast Finality. Instead, actually, I'm going to grab double play crafter. They go down to one. Oh, wow, they're just dead. Can't they had to sack the Midnight Reaper like first. And now just gonna kill him. I don't think it would have been. Oh, that's right. It would have added two counters to the. I I I forgot about the whole add two count the part of finality of add two counters. You know, so I was just I was just when I was doing the math in my head, I was doing the math of Molder Hulk being a two two, but it would have been a four four because it would have got two counters. Yeah, I forgot about the the plus two plus two. About that card. Well, it still worked out. All right, Massacre Girl. Them stealing all my creatures is rude. Do I want all these Plague Mares? Yeah, we didn't get to play as many as many game objects going with <laughs> the just casting finality and attacking. We got to do more things by like casting find. So we'll have some Plague Mares replace some Plague Crafters. I trim one Wild Growth Walker with them, like, stealing it being kind of bad for me. Um, trim a Midnight Reaper and I guess a Supplier. All right, let's give this a try. Yeah, Grixis League did go 5-1. I never noticed that over there. Thanks for Thanks for let me know. First one, V1. So 
So I really hope we draw a land here so we can go Glow Spore plus Merfolk Branch Walker. This is a Glow Spore is a pretty sweet combo with the Explore creatures too, because you know, like you you mill over three cards, put a land back on top, and then you play your Explore creature and grab that land, so you get to like make sure you draw a card. I don't know, that's kind of cool. Of course, we need to actually draw this fourth land, so we can do that. And then we'll then we will definitely have the fifth land. After that, hmm. All right, did not get the land. Oh. Together we will prevail. Sorry to hear that, Admiral. Nature's true power. Now. Alright, so Masker Girl should be able to wipe the board. I, I need to get the Glow Spore Shaman in play, though, to have an X1 in play to get it all started. And I, you know, just counting here, I don't think we need, like, another Glow Spore Shaman, right? Like, I don't think that, like, I don't know exactly how big of a crisis they can make, but I don't think it's going to be big enough to survive. You know, I guess it would be, be like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Be, like, an 8, 8, so, yeah. All right, so they got three lands, but you know they have six mana, and you know can untap a land for eight mana. <clears throat> Rise, my elemental friend. That's a good card to have. Stop. I think we, yeah, we're good, still gonna lose this. Yeah, Nissa is pretty broken. Be wary of the ground you walk on. We're about to have all the crises. All right, I think I'm off the Plague Mares. Yeah, just give me Plague Crafters. Huh. 
All right. Game three. Hmm. Not the bestest of hands. The branches should help us hit land drops or put creatures in the graveyard. Could use Glow Spore Shaman. Glow Spore Shaman would be a good draw. Alright, one creature in the graveyard. Um, do I think Nissa is broken? Not, I mean, no, not really. I mean, it's incredibly powerful, but that's, that's the standard format is full of incredibly powerful cards. So of course they have Frilled Mystic here. Um, well, I'm very sure they have Frilled Mystic. Well, I don't know if they necessarily had to play it. I will aid you. The land fights for us. My patience. This has been unfortunate. Seven cards and no land so far. And they have infinite mana. Twelve mana. Pretty fair. <laughs> Twelve mana versus two. I'm going to the next game. So we're three and one. Turns out Nissa is very good. Turns out Nissa is very, very good. Question is, should I make Bant Ramp or Is It Drake's? Um, Bant Ramp's a better deck than Is It Drake's. I mean, I can. If your goal is, if you're simply, if your goal is winning, recommend Bant Ramp. All right, blue black deck. Attack. Ooh, got in there. 
one point. Rexus. I think I should have got rid of the other Midnight Re Reaper. Duh, bears. Thanks for that resub there. The bears. Hope you're having a good Thursday. Sub number seven on the day. I don't I don't know after wizard. I would I would assume that uh like there would need to be a lot of updates to Value Town. I thought would be my assumption. Defiance has consequence. Hey Yud, yeah, welcome back. All right, time to fill the graveyard. Unfortunate. My revenge will be painful. Witness a moat of my power. Mm -hmm. So they have two cards in the graveyard. We're gonna be getting back Molder Hulk this turn. You know, we have like the six mana, so we can get we have like the we have six mana plus Memorial of Follies, so we have the Molder Hulk chain. My favorite color tie. Say black. I like black ties. Never, never mind. Plan changed. I have other schemes to attend. I'm a little worried about milling myself out. I don't really want like the supplier to to die. Oh, that's unfortunate. I got rid of that forest, I suppose. Does this finally die? No! Yay! 
All right, I assume there's a playcrafter over here. Let's draw in this forest. Now we can play a playcrafter. There's not a single playcrafter in here? Really? Well, that's really unfortunate. That's not good. No, no one, no under, no lot with giants. Yeah, because now this bolus can flip and bring back the other bolus. We have four playcrafters. We had zero of them. Gross. Nice. You tried five color reborn yesterday and ranked and went four and O. Oh. That is awesome. Way to go. Again. I mean, like they don't really have anything good to do here with the with the nickel bolus though. I suffer for your cause. Yay. All right, so if I sack memorial, yeah. Yeah, we're good. So we're going to sack Memorial, get back Molder Hulk. Play Molder Hulk. Get back Woodland Cemetery. And then play Forest. And now we have three lands. So now we can play Crafter. I'm going to sacrifice the play Crafter. I want that back in my graveyard. That's a sad ritual of soot right there. All right, chain and molder hulks. Just get Enfy Molder Hulks. It's pretty nice. Um, yeah, I'll just draw, draw Folly here, honestly. And just make another land drop. While we're going in few with these molar hulks. No, I've never tried awakening a Vit Vitugazi. I'm not sure exactly where you'd want to play it. It's really, really bad against Little Teferi because you have to do it on your turn. And then they just bounce it with the little Teferi. That's pretty rough. So I want an extra command. I think I took out a Choop last time. Yeah, I think I still take out Choop. Playcrafter's been so nice for us. That card's been incredible. Yeah, how do you get 
the Stream Decker site to copy paste into Arena. On the left hand side, when you're on the site, there it says MTGA export right underneath the picture of the cards on the left hand side. You have to be on the website. I don't think I don't think you can be do it from like the thing here. So immediately the very right underneath like where the pictures of the cards are. It copies the deck list to your clipboard. And then you Uh, and then you know you go into arena hit the import and you're good to go so don't forget to be here from 3 to 10 tomorrow for our sub battle stream it'll be a lot of fun trying it on a friday this time instead of a saturday we basically always done them on saturdays so if you are somebody that works or or is busy on the saturday and you've wanted to play in the sub battle stream get your chance tomorrow <laughs> remember when we asked talked to chad about their favorite type of cookies some days ago you made me buy oatmeal cookies today <laughs> well hope the oatmeal cookies are good You love oatmeal raisin? No, I gotta get some macadamia nut. Yeah, Boot, you're gonna join for the sub battle stream tomorrow. Special guest, Boot to the Head, who's in chat right now. He's gonna be here in studio live for that sub battle stream and then and then I'm taking the day off afterwards on Saturday. Is there any like, you know, recently the last couple of times we've done the set sub battle stream, um, yeah, I've been winning there. Is there any good? Uh, handicap that we could have there I'm not sure exactly what that would either entail and or look like anyway we have a sleepy Aussie joining the channel thanks for that resub there sleepy Aussie you are amazing yeah boots gonna be here tomorrow I need to make more jank decks. The arena shuffler is the one true handicap. All right, get the Narset out of here so we get to draw multiple cards if there is a Ritual of Soot. <laughs> I left you on my TV for my dog while I went to go eat some Mexican food. <laughs> oh man, Mexican food. That's something I haven't had in a while. I haven't had some good chips and queso. <clears throat> steal my Angrath, or sorry, steal my Midnight Reaper. For my <clears throat> so they get to draw the card. So I'll put him down to twelve. I can attack for six. Let's put him down to six. Let's see what else they got going on over here first. <clears throat> Bedevil, Bedevil, Rampage, Narset. Well, let's take the uh, Rampage. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's worth it just to do this. I've weathered tougher storms than you. I just don't think it's really that worth it to play the Playcrafter right now. Basic Forest. Worst card we could possibly draw. Well, let's definitely get rid of this Branch Walker. I'll probably just eat the Carnage. Maybe not. Cool. So they wanted to make me discard my two cards in the end. <laughs> Add a 61st card to every deck tomorrow. <laughs> not allowed to sideboard. We could draw Command the Dread Horde. Wow, we really did. Wow, that actually that actually happened. Um, well, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, my my cards kind of suck. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Stay at five. Oh, they whiffed with Ascanta too. <clears throat> so there goes one card with Nicobolus and Grath's gonna take the other card. Wow, this card's good. No fire, no steel. Hone your prowess. Fair enough. Basically looking for like fine finality, I guess, with the Narset. I guess I probably should have just grabbed Jade Light instead of Narset. I wanted to keep them from drawing multiple cards a turn. That auto tap didn't really help them anyway, just keeping all their like tapping all the black sources. But it didn't it didn't matter too much there. All right, another four and one, and we are on to the final boss with Golgari Graveyard. Something a little different here in Standard, something a little budget-friendly. This deck's good against the control decks, as you've seen. We've been kind of beaten up on, like, Grixis and and Control and everything like, like that. I guess Esper is a little tougher, though, for us. Is that what we lost to, Esper? I think that is. No, I think we beat Esper. What did we lose to? I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we lost the Mass Manipulation deck. That's right. 
That's right. We lost to Nissa. Nissa real good. Yeah, so we beat Esper, beat Grixis twice. It's So the blue black decks we've been beaten. Land Ugh. I wanted to play craft to that thing. Of course I need specifically black mana. If they take anything besides Find Finality, we can just cast Find next turn and grab whatever they take and the Shaman back. That's what they did. They took Jade Light. We'll just get Jade Light back. Please, no spell. Please, no spell. Please, no spell. This is brutal. That was brutal. I think my play is to just Try to get to six mana to cast finality. It's not going to work. All right, so we try. Yeah, the the wild growth was our scry on top. So yeah, I had I had double forest. Or was it a scry on top? Did I did I mulligan? I don't feel like I mulliganed. So maybe it just had wild growth. Yeah, Playcrafter lines up bad against Hero, but it lines up good against everything else. But against Hero, it doesn't line up well. But good against everything else. Yeah, we've had a really successful night so far. Where deck can, and like basically Plague Mare is like the opposite. Like it's good against Hero and bad against everything else. I mean, I guess it, this also cannot be blocked by Basilica Bell Hunt though. Uh, we saw Enter the God Eternals. I kept the seven. Okay, so it did have Wild Growth. So it was Forest Forest, Wild Growth, uh, Branch Walker, Jade Light.
Well, I feel like if they had a hero, they would have played it. Well, I guess they couldn't really with Glacial Fortress, but still, whatever. I'm playing it. Get some attacking in. Just three mana two two, four mana two. We had two mana one three, three mana two two, and four mana two two. That probably beats like the best deck in standard, right? Like this Esper deck. Don't really know how we lost or how it didn't. Those who cannot proceed keep an open mind. So the good news is, you know, we hit the three creatures with Glow Spore Shaman, which allowed us to play Molder Hulk. The bad news is now we're probably gonna get a bunch of lands in a row. Jeez. Just the trick for this. Not looking good. So we have 10 cards in our graveyard. All of them are creatures. We've been very efficient in that case. We could just have like Jade Light get us some more lands and then find Command the Dread Horde. The good thing is no Teferi's over there. Mm. Midnight Reaper not so good against Narset. I'll try it though. Chilling with lands over there. Kill this thing. Okay. I shall miss your company. Now our Reaper is turned on. Good. We did not hit Command the Dread Horde. That's good. There's still three commands in here out of the 36 cards. Wow, they are flooding out. All right, now three, three of our 33 are command. We are clawing our way back in. They just never had to ferry. It's a lot different whenever they don't have to ferry.
All right. Let's get some. Looks like they're going like, you know, a lot more control role here with like Kaya's Wraths and, and stuff. Um, so I'm going with like the duresses. They could switch back on the play, but I still have still have like Plague Mare for hero. Still got one of those in here. All right, okay. No land, no, no, no land, no, no land. Ugh. Ugh. So both Tyrant Scorn and Thought Erasure get rid of something, but Thought Erasure lets them surveil. Where... Oh, honestly, maybe... Honestly, I probably just should not have even played this. And then just try to play crafter the next... No, because they. whenever I play crafter in response, they just tyrant scorn, and yes, no, that doesn't work. I don't think I want to play that next turn and then and like put a land on top just have that be like my my whole turn lands lands love it so I can even finality and clear the board with that Got those things out of here. So if I take a Nars or sorry, take a hero. So two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. The past, present, and future are bound by threads of time. Mm. 
meditate and prepare. I guess that's a, a decent thing to sacrifice to play crafter if we want to, but yeah, keep them from drawing multiple cards. Why not? Oh, that's gross. Ugh, that's unfortunate. I guess I could have considered that. I didn't. Put thoughtfulness before Ugh. action. Come on back, Jade Light. Find me something good. More Jade Lights. Who's the card advantage deck now? That'd be us. Oh, Oath of Kaya? I forgot about Oath of Kaya, to be honest. I, I don't have any way to gain life, really, right now. Let's grab another memorial. Yeah, Wild Growth Walker was on the bottom because of Narset. Yep, that's going to do it, though. All these creatures. I can make them discard the Dispark also. But, I mean, it just... It just, like comes into play and grabs me like the, the folly back, you know, it's just free, so like it also just gets rid of the, the dispark. Alright. Yeah, even a even like with a wrath, like we have so many of those memorials to get our cards back. Like even if they would have top deck Kaya's Wrath, like we would still be pretty fine. Like like we were gonna be okay. Golgari getting it done with the five one. So, pretty good deck against the control decks, as we saw there. We went 2-0 against Esper, 2-0 against uh, Grixis. That last match against Esper, our opponent, our opponent flooded out quite a bit. Um, that certainly helped us. And, oh, well, we know why they flooded out, because we had Lil Hawkeye come and join us. Yeah. Got that good luck from Hawkeye there. Um... But yeah, this deck was pretty sweet. You know, like if you want something a little different and yeah, pretty budget friendly for sure. Ex especially like in paper. I don't really see like I, like besides like the rare the dual lands, I don't really know anything that would really cost very much in here. I mean, I guess command the dreadhorde. Uh, I don't know how much that card costs. But a pretty sweet little deck here. Any changes in the afterthought? I think I was not as impressed with Plague Mirror as I thought I'd maybe be. I think I'd want a second Masker Girl and just go two two Masker Girl, two Plague Mirror. I think against like those Nissa decks, I think you really want Masker Girls. So that would be that would be something there. It's probably about it though. Alright. 
So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it. And please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Hawkeye would be happy about that too, you can see here. Well, that's it here for uh, Golgari Graveyard. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.